Hey everyone, it's Bailey, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be reading the lowest rated and the highest rated book on my Goodreads TBR. So I actually already know my lowest rated book because it was actually one of the prompts for my TBR jar. So I did have to pick my lowest rated book and read it this month for my TBR. So I already know what book we're going to be reading for the lowest rated book book on my Goodreads TBR and that is The Perishing by Natasha Dion and this is I believe about a woman who wakes up in like the 1930s and can't remember her name or who she is or where she's from or anything like that how she got there and she ends up becoming friends with like this firefighter that she has actually been like drawing his face for like years and years and years so that's really all all I know about this book. I haven't heard really anything at all about this book. I haven't really seen anyone talk about it at all. I got this in October in my book of the month pick. It sounded very interesting to me because it's like I guess like a time travel sort of situation. I was super excited to get this and read more about like time travel and it's also from what I understand like sort of like a mystery obviously because she woke up not knowing who she is, where she's from, what time it is, and the Anything like that so I'm definitely interested to see what my opinion about this book is going to be and the reason that this book is rated so low just for reference the perishing has a 2.83 rating on Goodreads so this is gonna be the first book that I'm gonna read for this video since it is the lowest but now I want to see what book is going to be the highest rated on my Goodreads TBR so I am going to throw up a screenshot of my Goodreads and we're going to look on the want to read list and so it's already done by average rating and so it looks like it's been reversed so that way the highest is at the top and so obviously the first one is love redesigned but that is not out yet so then that has it being The Kiss by Mary Hugh Francois and yeah I don't know anything <laughs> about this book it was recommended to me by a subscriber in one of my like more recent videos and they recommended this to me so i am going to pick it up and read it i don't have no idea what it's about <laughs> i don't know anything about it but i'm excited to hopefully pick that up and see why it's rated so high but so i'm going to start with the perishing and this is what i'm going to be reading today hello okay so it's a little bit later and i have been reading some of the perishing so i'm on page 46 which is the start of chapter three and so far i'm like very confused as to what's going on i'm not sure if that's like supposed to be the point or not but so basically from what i can tell is it told in like two point of views lou his who is the girl who woke up in 1930 and then sarah who is from the year 2102 and basically from what i can tell is sarah has possibly killed someone and is on trial for something that I'm not sure if she actually did or not and then it is also following Lou in 1930 and she's woken up in this alley she doesn't know who she is she doesn't know her name or who she is and she has been sent to live with this family who is going to be like fostering her and that's really all I've got right now as of right now I don't know what's going on I don't know if that is supposed to be the point that we're all just supposed to be confused right now because obviously Lou is confused I'm confused don't know what's going on but that's where we're at right now but I'm going to continue reading it so far the writing style is okay pretty easy to read I don't see this taking me too too long to finish and the chapters are pretty short plus the book itself is like pretty short I think it's only like maybe 300 so I do think this will be a pretty Pretty quick read so I'm going to continue reading read some more and keep you guys updated on my thoughts as I go
so it is now the next day and i've just finished the perishing by natasha dion and honestly this book is definitely not for everyone like i can definitely understand why this book is rated the way that it is i do not think that this was a book for me personally do i think this was a bad book no but overall i just don't think this was my cup of tea so basically we're following this girl named lou and she has woken up in an alley she does not know who she is she cannot remember her name she cannot remember who she is she doesn't know where she is and so basically we're following her in 1930 and she ends up going to live with this foster family and it's basically just kind of like following her through this time in her life but we are also following sarah who's from the year like 2107 or something like that and she is on trial for a murder but you don't really get a whole lot of like details about the murder or anything like that like you don't really get any intel of who sarah Sarah is and like anything about her life until sort of the end but then again also at the same time you still don't understand exactly why she's on trial for murder or who she like murdered or any of that so that was just like a little weird in my opinion I don't know and then like some of the transitions obviously weren't done very well in my opinion um I find that I best understand transitions when they are clearly marked as transitions because it would seem like we were talking about one thing and then all of a sudden in the next sentence we were talking about something completely different and I feel like normally that is like annotated by like a page break to or like a paragraph break so that way you know hey we're done talking about this now we're talking about this and so that just wasn't done in this book from what I could tell that was done in a way that I personally like but overall the story itself so this story I don't know it felt angry to me I don't know like it felt like the author was angry when writing this but I mean I understand to a point because some of the topic in this book are definitely like anger provoking and things that are not good and like not happy topics and so you could definitely feel the anger I feel like that the author was feeling when writing about this time period but also too like I personally could not connect with Lou I did not really like Lou at the end. I found her very annoying to me and I just felt like the story wasn't like super well like fleshed out. Like I understand what it was trying to do but I feel like it just kind of like missed the mark a little bit. So yeah, with that being said, I think I'm gonna end up giving this a uh, like two star and that just being my rating for this. But now that I'm finished with The Perishing, I will be picking up the highest rated book for this video, which I'm actually going to be reading on my Kindle. So it is The Kiss by Marie Francois. And I know virtually nothing about this book. I think it's like a novella from what I can tell. It just says that honestly, it doesn't say anything. Something about Zaria. So, and I've like opened it and there is like no chapter heading like there's no chapter like it just starts like it's like the previous page is like part of the copyright and then like it just like starts so I'm assuming this is gonna be like a little novella and that's gonna be like super short it says 17 minutes left in chapter and 17 minutes left in book so I'm assuming this is gonna be like a very quick short little novella read so I am going to read this right now and come back to you with my thoughts once I finish and whether or not I agree that this should be the highest rated book on my Goodreads TBR. Okay, 
So it's a little bit later now and I just finished The Kiss by Marie Q. Francois. And so I think I'm going to end up giving this book three stars. So this was like a little novella. And basically in this book, we're following this girl and her name is Zaria. And her, I guess, village or like community, they like put on this like ceremony that's like a marriage ceremony every year for girls who are like 18 to 20 or like 18 and 19 and so this is going to be her third year in this like marriage thing and she keeps getting passed over every year because she refuses to bow to a man like as she should but she keeps saying like whoever she marries like she wants like them to be her equal or whatever and it's very clear that in this society that is not the case like women are not held as like equals and so basically during the ceremony they each woman goes into like this booth type deal and the men will come in and they have a chance to either like talk to the woman or they can like kiss the woman and not say anything and so basically we're reading as Zaria is going through this process for the third time after she's already been passed over twice in the past and honestly I don't really know the writing like wasn't really my vibe um um, I yeah I didn't really like the writing it's written in third person so not my not my vibe really I don't really like books written in third person I definitely prefer books written in first person so there was that but yeah I don't know the ending was very sweet and but the beginning was a little bit confusing because it was trying to like explain everything and I like didn't really understand what was going on but the ending was really sweet and I like the conclusion it was very short you know but it felt very like mid to me so I am going with a three star so yeah but overall you know not terrible and would recommend if you're looking for something like a quick easy novella that's like a palette cleanser then I would definitely recommend reading this book but now I have officially finished both of the books that I was planning on reading for this video I have officially read my highest rated book on my Goodreads TBR which was The Kiss as well as my lowest rated book which was The Perishing and I ended up giving The Kiss three stars and The Perishing two stars so overall I can't really say you know whether or not I felt like this video was successful because I didn't love the highest rated and I understood why the lowest rated was rated the way it was but I also could see it fitting towards a certain audience and finding like a certain audience that would absolutely love that book and I just was not the audience for that just like I don't necessarily think I was really the audience for the kiss as well because I just thought that it was okay but with that being said that's gonna be the end of today's video i hope you guys liked it if you did please make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content from me i will have all of my social medias linked in the description and i will see you guys in my next video bye